So I came back from an auction and 90% of this stuff I didn't have to buy. I only spent 45, no, $42. And um, I bought the bicycles and some of the stuff in here. But everything else, a guy bought the whole garage and so he let me take what I wanted out of it. I didn't get everything I wanted, but I got what would fit in my truck without strapping everything down. So it's sprinkling a little, so I'm gonna pull in the garage and uh, unload there. I forgot the tripod, so I don't know how much I'll be able to film of this. Quit raining as soon as I pulled in the garage. I can only pull in about halfway, but uh, pull the truck halfway in but it's okay because it doesn't matter now so like I said the only thing I had to pay for were the bicycles and some of the stuff in there there's a train and I forget what else is even in there All I got all these bicycles for five dollars I got a old marks I th oh I think it's a marks old marks train set here it's in this box and this bucket minus the jar the speedometer and the peanut butter jar that's all I bought everything else was given to me this guy bought everything in the garage. He said, you can have what you want. He didn't want all of it. And there was a few more things I wanted, but I took what would fit in the truck reasonably. Because uh, you can't really lean anything on these boards. You know, that's, that's why the bicycles are laying down. And um, you can tie stuff to them as long as it's not super tight. This was just here so that this didn't flop around a lot because I didn't want this tire to knock the screen out. But this tire had to be here so that this didn't flop over. And this tire is Montgomery Ward's Riverside tire. And it came off of a, well, my assumption is it came off of a 37 International bus because there was a 37 International bus there and it had this size tires on it. Um, saying this one was bad <laughs> and then it's oh yeah there belts broke in it so so I'm a unload so one of the bicycles I got is this Columbia bicycle got the head badge on it there this one actually has good tires on it as opposed to the other ones it's a Columbia Lexington. Then I have a Dash Huffy, which the front wheel is oh, leaning up against it there. That the Dash was just happened to be in the in the lot. The one I really wanted out of the lot was this one here, even though it's a girl's bike. It's a, a J.C. Penny. Uh, lightweight bike and it says JC Penny on the front there and uh, this was probably one of the really nicer one of the nicer bikes there it's got a lot of extra little reflectors on it here none of them's broke it's got those uh, reflectors on the on the uh, nuts there too on the front and the back it's got a person's seat which feels like it would probably be very comfortable it's got a kickstand I haven't got it to lay on that kickstand though because when you extend it all the way out it falls the other way then the last one I got and probably the oldest one I got it's got an H Hercules, oh man, this is an old bike. It's a Hercules bike, 
Apparently it was blue at one time. Look at that headboard, head badge. That's cool. So obviously it's got bad tires. The wheel's not bent. It just, the, just the tires all messed up. Uh, it's got a very old seat on it here. Probably the original seat. It's got the kickstand. They all had kickstands on them. And obviously it's been painted a few times. It's like white and pink or red. But so that's probably the oldest one I got. And then I'll show you the stuff that's left back there in a second. Got some old metal cans here. This one is cool. That's, this one's a, a kerosene can. Then I just like having these metal buckets around. So, And it's clean inside. I grabbed one of those. I couldn't get all the buckets. They were not going to fit in the truck. And this... is uh, shining armor it's a uh, roof coating you know uh, for like well, basically anything uh, it that's what it looks like uh, they're saying you use it on a trailer motorhome made by Reynolds aluminum overall paint incorporated And uh, then I got a couple signs here. This one I just like because it was, a, a, you know, somebody hand wrote this. I have not sprayed, pruned, or mowed and mowed around the blackberries to have someone else pick them. Keep out. And Jr. Jr. Briggs was the owner of the uh, land. Got a slow-moving vehicle sign. It's reflective. Then these two signs Galveston Fire District 644 and this one somebody used for some steel but it says Galveston uh, Fire Protection District 643 so those are pretty cool signs and since they came out of Galveston which is where the, where the sale was Got a metal funnel. Got this old can here. Coleman. Fuel for gasoline stoves and lanterns. And, uh, catalytic heaters. I just thought it was cool. You know, and it was free, so why not? Everything I... Everything except for the bikes that I have shown you so far was free. I... I the stuff in the bucket I showed you, I paid for that and the... Uh, the train and that's it everything else was given to me I only spent forty dollars forty two dollars we have a headlight and our uh, interesting I'm gonna set that down so I don't break it a very interesting old uh, automotive jack here you know this would be we couldn't decide if this was the base or this was um, the part that would uh, be in contact with the vehicle but we couldn't find the other end of it we gathered that that probably went with this jack and this was painted black and built real heavy so we thought maybe it goes with it except it doesn't go on the end here it doesn't fit so maybe it doesn't go with it but that's that's that and then the bucket itself is Sears aluminum uh, fiber coating basically the same thing the other bucket was I, I uh, got the buckets I liked and my whole trucks all muddy now because of course it rained we got out of the auction without the rain but then it rained right after it was done We have a keyless bike lock. That does a lot of good. I didn't even pick that up. That must have been stuck on one of the bikes. Some of the guys from the tractor the tractor club I'm in, they were there. This was stuck to that aluminum sheet over there, which 
I'm thinking maybe somebody used it for a sled. I thought it looked like it'd make a good sled. But this was just stuck to it. It's a old raggedy shirt. I didn't actually get that. I just couldn't get it off of the thing. Uh, this here. I'm going to pick that up. I'm reading it upside down here. Ever Ready Pump Motor. Sears and Roebuck Company. I have my doubts that it works, but I thought it was cool. I thought I had a fender for something, but it disappeared. And the guy that was giving me this stuff said he didn't take it, so somebody else took it. Uh, I don't know what the fender was for. Maybe a motorcycle, because it was too big for a bicycle and way too small for a vehicle. Even even too small for a Model A. Or a, it was too small for a Model A, and it was not the right size for a Model T. It was the right size for a bicycle. Or not a bicycle, a motorcycle. This is a chute for a mower. It's very heavy metal though. That's why I got it. Then these, they had a, I want to say a 65 Ford Fairlane in there next to the 37 International bus. And these were scattered about the floor. And the guy that bought the car said he didn't want them. I, I was gathering them up and the guy said he didn't want them. So... I uh, I got to take those. Also, the spare tire, I put it away already. Spare tire for that fair lane, or an old tire, I guess it would have been. The spare tire probably is what was on it after I show you the tire. So there's three of them here. Just that one of them's in cut in half. that I found on the side of the road a couple weeks ago. Uh, and then these are just fiberglass, corrugated fiberglass. There's three sheets of them here. And, you know, they let light in. So I thought those will come in handy for something. Get out of my truck here. And then we have everything that's in the truck, which I'll show you once I put everything else away. So hidden behind the Ford Fairlane was a three and a half foot tall stack of license plates. And the, the building was an old building like this. Um, you know, so it had the foundation. You can see on the other side better. So, you know, it had the foundation and then it had a little shelf area. You know, well, these were hidden behind the Fairlane on the shelf. And they're from all sorts of years. Here's a 03 that is still in the sheet. There's a, another one. Here's another one in the sheet. Oh, wow. Uh, 76, so bicentennial plate in the sheet. There's another one. Two of them in a sheet. Now, the bus that I keep mentioning had been converted into a camper so there's a lot of RV plates here's an RV plate from 81 uh, the 03 is an RV plate 93 RV plate 1990 RV plate still in the uh, package 2008 RV plate this one was in the package. It got slid open. Uh, another one in the package. That's not an RV. It's all the RV plates in a pile here. House car. That's an RV plate from 1963. Looks brand new. 76. Not a heritage state. Uh, plate though bicentennial plate 39 This could have come off of that RV the camper um, The lady that there's a lady that subs at our school. She doesn't sub this year um, But the lady that used to substitute teach at our school um, 
this was some of her relation these the people this estate and um, she was not in charge of it but it was some of her relation so she was there and she said that the woman that lived there I forget which was which there was a man and woman there and one lived to 99 and one lived to 97 or something like that. they're real old and um, anyway they went to Alaska twice in the bus all 48 of the main country states in the United States all of the provinces in Canada and I believe she said it went to Mexico as well and she said when that the the uh, old lady that passed away when that when she was a little girl she rode to school on this very same school bus that um, they had as a camper and the seats for the camper or the seats for the bus when it was still a bus were up in the hayloft for the barn they're still in good shape some guy bought them um, but anyhow actually the guy that bought them no it was a different guy than these came from upstairs was one guy bought it downstairs another guy bought it but anyway this 39 plate could have come off of that bus when it was a school bus so that's pretty cool 63 that was in good shape here we have a whole stack of them still in the plastic here 87 both both of those are 87 we have a trailer plate for 1980 that's probably the little bitty trailer that they sold what's this guy 1980 this is a George Rogers Clark plate that's still in the package another one from 80 another one from 80 the RV plate for 80 79 there's a little bent up that one's been used house car that's another RV plate that's from 78 good grief 59 another house car that's from 1970 another 59 is this a set it wouldn't be a set for Indiana no, probably one was for a, a fair lane and one was for another car. Trailer plate for 62. It's like a 3,000 uh, pound trailer plate. Uh -oh. 62 safety pays plate. 69 plate. Have a stack of dirty ones too. 73. Motor home 71. 71 for a uh, different different uh, vehicle. That 9B uh, 9B5 seems to be a trend with these plates. Or not at least nine B, so that must mean something. I am not knowledgeable to know what that means. This is 150th year of Indiana, uh, 1966, and there's this one's been opened obviously because the paint's fallen off of it. What's the other one that's in here? Sixty-five. doesn't have to be in the plastic or in there 68 house car that's off the RV license number <laughs> in case you couldn't see the big numbers license number uh, that's house car 69 60 House car, safety pays, 60. These are all like in order, like 60, 60. They're all laid on top of each other. 62, house car, another safety pays. 
1961 3,000 pound trailer plate. Drive safely plate for 57. Uh, trailer plate for 63. Probably the same, all these are probably from the same trailer. Another trailer plate, 65. All right, we'll be looking for 64 then now, right? 61, 62, 63, 65. House car. The finish on the back of the plate is coming off. That's interesting. House car, 67. 66, 150th year. 65. Automobile plate, house car, 64, 63, 64, 65, 75, house car, 74, house car, yikes, it's muddy, it's not rusty, it's just caked in mud, trailer number 3, 67, 75 this one's also 75 this one's never been on anything but it's bent 72 74 another 74 72 73 I haven't set any numbers backwards that's a big deal for me 72 motor home 72 automobile 71 automobile 72 to 73 expires May of 73 automobile these are all really nice plates they're not gonna hang up outside on my wall they're too nice uh, 80 84 automobile 64, does it say 64? 9A and 9B, they've all been 9 something, or most of them have. 81, 79, trailer 3, and two more 81s here. Look how close they are. 9B, 6639. 9B6640. We haven't even went through this stack yet. 78. Is that the same as this bent one? It looks like the same. 78. I think somebody's making a birdhouse out of this one. 78 and 78. They're real close to the same too. 67, no, 78. Nope. My bad. We looked through these, right? Yep, we did. 79. 79. Those are fairly close in number. About 100 apart. Trailer 375. It's a short number, too. House car 77 in the plastic. They lived in the motor home uh, in Florida during the winter, so there's also that. Uh, 78 automobile. 78 automobile. 268269. A lot of really close ones. 76. See, they all start with 9B something. So that tells me that they're all for the same vehicle from different years. 75. Expires in 75. 76. 76 house car 
1976 automobile. That's cool. Uh, 2003 automobile. That one looks like it was in a frame, a license plate frame on a car. House car for 61. Safety pays. We basically have the documentation of all of these people's vehicles here. We just, all we know is that these are for the bus. Uh, 7071. Or another 7071. Husband, wife's cars, I guess is why there's doubles of each year. 69. Uh, 64, that one looks brand new. 68. I should have been counting these license plates. House car 59. 67. Also 67. And house car 65. I got all those license plates. Look at all the dirt that fell off of those plates. Uh, I got all those license plates for free. He said, if you want them, take them. So, by golly, I I couldn't get behind the car. I was like leaned over the back fender of the car getting everything. Something else that was back there. Was this set of, well, almost a set. Of Chevrolet hubcaps here. I'm going to say they're from the 60s or 70s. I was very upset I could not find the other set any the other the other one anywhere around. Um, those were shoved underneath the car. They weren't for the car though cuz those are Chevrolet plates and the car was a Ford. Everything in this box was free. Alright, I'm going to pull some more stuff out and then we'll go through it. Outer's gun oil. Polarized. Figured that was an old can. Still got the little nozzle on the top. Motorcraft. Ford. Sorry guys, it keeps shooting back in the box. Little bitty motor, maybe it's for the fair lane, I don't know, what's it say? Conditioner assembly, little tin plate. That stuff probably not a lot of value, I just thought it was cool. That's my, I don't want that to blow away, that's my receipt. Got an old 3-in-1 oil can. It's, it's kind of been up. Regular price, 38 cents. I'll show you the train in a minute. Oh, good grief. Bracket for a tow mirror. Looks like probably Ford. Got this really cool bottle. Now, the pigmenting of the bottle is stuck to the bottle. The actual liquid is there, which is interesting. So it had been sitting there for quite a long time, as I could tell, because it was covered in cobwebs. Fuel oil, oh there, it, it's in a Target alcohol bottle, 59 cents at Target. Got a little transistor radio here, I don't know if it works, but it was free so who cares. I'll find out if it works in a little while. 
Now I'm not going to go through the whole train box because I'll probably do that in a separate video. But these are all marks, I believe. Yeah, this one's a marks. I imagine the whole set's a marks. New York Central. It's got a little bit of a ding in it. Tabs have popped out, but I can it, that can be fixed. The wheels are in good shape. They're not all rusty. Sinclair. 351. So this is from 1951. It's a Sinclair tanker. That's the main car out of this box that I wanted. That's a hard car to find. Got an engine here. This is I know this is a Marks just by looking at it. Uh, let's see. We have oh, we have one and a half engines, one and a quarter engines. We have a well, that's an old helicopter, a bubble front helicopter with a little parachuter guy in there. Looks like he's got a stormtrooper helmet on. Army ordnance. Made in Japan. This could be a line mar. Missing his wheel, but and his props. That's a wheel for something else. A lot of track. A metal detecting spaceman. That's interesting. A rubber 60. Nope, that's not a Corvette. Looks like a Corvette. What is that? Mercedes. I was way off. I guess a Corvette does not have gullwing doors. <laughs> Should have looked at it more closer. It's rubber. Wonder if this is an Auburn rubber. There's no markings on it. We're in Indiana. It could, it's not a far-fetched possibility. Here's the other... Nope, that's not for the helicopter either. Some motors for something. We have the bottom half of an old train car. I can use that, actually. I can't pull this out because it's stuck to a ribbon, but this is Baltimore and Ohio 41. 141. Um, linking 13 great states with the nation. Little gondola car here. I think that's probably a Marks. We have a tunnel with some scenery on it. Not sure a tunnel for what. So it may be the army guys that's in here. We have a wing. A block. Tom Riggs. With a missile on it. A block with a missile. Another block down there. Those could also be used as stamps, I guess. But I think they're blocks. There's a Crescent Dairy advertisement in the bottom. That's pretty cool. We have a Native American on a horse. He doesn't go with anything in here so far. He certainly doesn't go with the Trans World Airlines airplane. Wow, that's... I'm going to say that's from the 50s. Probably most of this stuff in here is. But... That's, that's pretty cool. That's still got all of its wheels. It's missing a little wing at the back might be buried in here somewhere we have molds for faces we have a clown and a pirate the side of a airplane and the Union Pacific uh, caboose I recognize that one as a marks as well and then, of course, there's various odds and ends down here. We won't go through all that on camera. These are matches. That's a pretty cool matchbox. Got ducks on it. Oil blue tip exclusive, or exclusively. I can't read. Exclusively Ohio blue tip. Apparently, I, I can't read through the camera. And we have stickers for a model. Mini Lindy. And then the elephant in the room here, or the 
tracks that go with the this stuff is bigger it's more of that corrugated fiberglass this is cool this is old transformer a Wadsworth transformer probably came off of that building I don't know it is stuck yeah this has to be pulled back but even when I use two hands it's I think it's it's rusted shut so I'll work on getting that open at a later date carb cleaner from Kmart I just got it because it was Kmart there's a Kmart bicycle that a guy and I outbid each other with he he, I, he ended up getting it it was at the very end uh, this this is a glass bottle it says 16 on the bottom Poison. Spirit process fluid. AB Dick. Duplicating products. I still got the lid on it. This is really cool. I'm not sure what this would have been used for, but it's a pretty cool jar. It's got an eagle car or embossed in the lid. Then this lid pulls out. God knows what is stuck in the bottom of it. Well, those are patent date. I was hoping those were year, years, but there's just patent numbers. This bottle, something towards sale or reuse. Law forbids uh, sale or reuse of this bottle. I read it in the right order and not through the camera. I can read it. We have a boron charcoal can. I just like the uh, graphics on it. <laughs> this was electric fence control box. I, I took this off the building. This was on the inside of the building. Everything was still hooked up, but the uh, electricity was turned off to it. And I was told that I could take it if I wanted it. So the, the, these were obviously just finger tight. So I undid everything and lo and behold, got this uh, electric fence controller that if you can get all this dirt off the top of it, looks absolutely brand new. Shocks the cow, there's a picture. None of us could figure out what this was, but it was adjustable. Does anybody know what this is? It's got two of these hooks on it, and it's adjustable. It looks like once upon a time it was chrome. We have a license plate bracket. This is like the one on the front of my truck. It attaches under, well, it's supposed to. Somebody put mine on the top. But it attaches, supposed to be underneath the bumper, and then the plate just bolts on there. That's what this is. This one's made to be under plate. That one on my truck can be either way. Uh, well, tripped over that, whatchamacallit. Got a croquet ball made out of wood. This was cool. I think it's cool. This is a Kmart Quality Care oil filter. It was a dollar sixty-six. Originally, it was two eighteen. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna say that's '80s, '70s, or '80s. Kmart Quality Care oil filter, manufactured for Kmart Corporation in Troy, Michigan. Could be for the fair lane. The last plate, or the, there were stickers, parking permit stickers on the front bumper of the fair lane, and they were all 82. So I'm thinking maybe that was the last time it was driven. 
I don't know what this was. This Airculator. Air Culator. Yeah, Airculator. Model AC2. Try Industries. I can't grab hold of anything now. My fingers are so cold. Alright. So, that's not all. That's most, but that's not all. This is a piece of rubber that goes on a running board. My truck does not have a running board, so that didn't benefit me any. But I figured it'd get thrown away if I didn't take it. Got this yoke here. I was surprised he gave this to me, but he did. He said he didn't want it. That was nice. I showed you the funnel already. I'll prove to you that's it. Because that's not from there. Little oil can. Oiler can, I should say. Planter's Peanut Improved Mix with Mr. Peanut. Does that have a year on it anywhere? Vacuum packed, roasted in vegetable oil, salt added, cashews, brazils, almonds. No year. This, uh, ba -da -ba -da, two, eight, $2.18 at Fleet Supply Gunk. General purpose degreaser. They had a lawnmower there that looked about like that one. I wonder where that wrench went. That guy gave me a wrench that said Kmart on it. I hope I picked it up. Shoot. Uh, maybe it's in one of these. Oh yeah, there it is. Nope, that's not it. That's a great neck. That's a Williams. That's not it. Crap. Maybe I didn't pick it up. Anyway, I had a wrench that said Kmart on it. I wanted these not so much for the contents, although it looks like there's some nice tools in here, as I wanted them for the cans. Shoal, uh, Department of Transportation 3 motor, motor Vehicle Brake Fluid. Qual. Uh, that looks like a mirror mount for a truck, extendable mirror mount for a, actually a truck like mine. Ditto direct process fluid. The mark of quality, ditto. Okay. And the bucket. I paid for some of what's in the bucket. Okay, now I paid for everything that's in the bucket. This was free. It's a speedometer, probably out of the fair lane. It could be out because it doesn't work. Who knows? This is old. Gun. No. Gum. Bum. I can't read what that says. Pure spirits of Dr. Gum Supreme. Best paint thinner. I just knew it was old. That's why I grabbed it. I didn't have time to read it. We have a Kroger peanut butter jar. Can't read it, but it's got a little skunk on it. Could be a chipmunk, I suppose. Got this bucket here. Got some nice tools in it. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, is this my wrench? This is my wrench. I put it in one of them. Half inch 
Kmart wrench. I'm saying they were frequent shoppers at Kmart. Clippers. This is cool. Oh, it says where it's at. Lexington, Kentucky, Lakes, Landsbrook, Dairy Queen. Got some kids. Let's all go to the Dairy Queen. You can see it's an abnormally thick pencil. All right, and then we have Ertl Historical Tractor Set, International Harvester. Got a steam tractor. Got some really cool tractors in here. And then we also have 73 John Deere Sound Idea Tractor. Pretty cool. Not sure why the top of the box is cut out. But maybe this proof of purchase thing. I don't know. Anyway, that concludes the haul. So we got a whole gob of license plates. One, two, three, four, four bicycles. Five bicycles. Uh, let's see here. The screen, some cans, some signs. We got a lot of goodies here. And then the train and everything else I've just showed you. So, like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day. I know this was kind of of a out of sort video, but um, I just wanted to show you guys what I got. So, there you go. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video. So, the little transistor radio I got, it works. <clears throat> Trip to the mailbag coming up in the next hour.